in previous classes we will discuss what is waterfall model and how the application will develop in waterfall model advantages of waterfall model and disadvantages of waterfall model today we will see what is spiral model definition is it is a step by step process or standard process to develop the new application or software it is step by step process or standard process to develop the software or application this is one point and another point is to overcome the drawbacks of all waterfall models we will see spiral model to overcome the drawbacks waterfall model we will go to spiral model drawbacks nothing but disadvantages and next one is there is a dependency from one module to another model we will go spiral model there is a dependency from one module to another model we will go for spiral model dependency means one model totally dependent on another model for example we will take facebook in facebook application home page will totally dependent on login page that means without login page we cannot open home page that is one module totally dependent on another module we will go to spiral model next we see how to develop an application in spiral model developing process application in spiral model take for example first requirements customer give the requirements customer gives requirements ba will collect this requirements 
behavior work in one, so one software company. This works in software company. BA will go to the customer place and he will co collect the requirements in CRS means customer requirement specification and he will also convert it into SRS software requirement specification and connecting uh, converting this SRS explain it to project manager, developer, test engineers and also after BA work will be done customer gives A module requirements. Let's see software company how to develop this type of modules. These are the four stages in feasible uh, spiral model. First stage is requirement collection and feasibility studies. Both are done in the same stage. And next one is design. In this stage, both high level design and low level design can be done only this place. After that, this stage we call it as coding stage. After that, this stage we call it as testing stage. In coding stage, developers will working and testing stage, test engineers are working. First, customer give module layer requirements. Assume that this is module layer requirements. In this stage, requirement collection and feasibility studies done. Next, this module requirements transfer to design stage. In the design stage, both high level design and low level design will be done in this stage for module A. After that, the designer will give the requirements to coding stage. In coding team, see the requirements and he will start writing code. This is assume that this is code for A module. Okay. After code is writing, this code will transfer to testing team. What test engineer will do in this place means first he will test the module A. That means testing A module. In case he will find any defect, communicate defect back to communicate defect back to the coding team. That means developer. Ask a test engineer to developer for fixing the defect. Developer will fix the defect and uninstall the old software. He will give the new software to the test engineers. First, test engineer will cross check whether the defect is fixed or not. Hence, it is fixed. He will con continue his testing total module. Once test engineer confirm this module has defect free, it will directly give to the customer. Okay, module layer design will be completed, customer will satisfy. Module layer completed. After module layer, customer think I can more than development to this old software. He will give B module requirements. Along with this, he will ask, there is dependency between A module and B module. Okay, BA will select these requirements and he will tell this to entire software company. In requirement and feasibility studies, here B module is done requirements and feasibility studies. After that, it will transfer to design stage. In design stage, both high level design and low level design done at once. After that, this module requirements gives to coding team. Here, developer will already save the old module code and he will see the new module requirements. This is 
would be assume that you will see the b module requirements and my old code module here code he will write code b uh, module b coding once module b coding is done developer will write extra code that is integration code what is the use of integration code means it will establish the dependency from one module to another module that's why developer will write one integration code after that it will gives to test engineer test engineer first test module b after that it was completely without defect free he will test next integration code of b and a integration code is defect free test engineer will test old module module a because integration code are new one or module b are new one that's why he will cross check whether these two modules will affect will, will affect the old module or not that's why he will also check one set old module a test engineer will says it is defect free it is directly given to the customer okay customer will take this module she will satisfy but customer think there is some major changes in in the application and he will ask module c module c he will tell dependency on c c to a b module and c to a module along with he will ask some major changes major changes major changes means important changes in the application let's see how to develop this type of requirements whenever software company wants to major changes in application it follows spiral model first software company will make a cycle to major changes major changes in this circle only the software company will develop what customer asked major changes in that type the software company will in this cycle only changes after this cycle customer ask one more thing c c module also he will create another cycle for c module it will done requirement collection and feasibility studies after that design and coding developer will see the old modules b and e a he will write new module code c he will also check integrate old module integration check uh, code also after c return completed he will establish integration code between module b and a integrations code because customer has c module is totally dependent b module and a module that's why developer will write one integration code after code coding is done this module uh, this code will give to the test engineer test engineer will first check c module first check module c and after that he will check integration integration code between c to b module and c to a module that means cb integration code and ca integration code because this is also new one that's why he will check after that he will cross check whether the old modules b and a b module and a module also check because there are new new softwares he will develop in that old software 
is there any defect it will affect it to b and a modules that way test engineer will cross check the old modules also at once test engineer will give a record for this entire software is defective free this modules give to the customer c module along with minor changes in case customer asked minor changes company did not develop extra cycle to minor changes suppose customer will ask d module along with minor changes but customer did not ask any dependency d module to a c b in this time software company will develop d module it in this stage done requirement collection and feasibility studies after this transfer to design stage once the design stage is completed it will give back to, give to the developing stage in this developing code developers will see the old codes c b and a they will develop module d code d code that is the new one after that developer did not establish any integration code because customer asked for d module new d module along with minor changes he did not ask any dependency from old modules that's why he did not write any integration code after that this module gives to test engineer test engineer will test first new module d after that old modules c b a once testing is done this module directly gives to customer so this is the entire process the software companies how to develop the applications in spiral model i hope you all are understand thank you